Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I create 360 degree video of my experiences here in China. There's just so much to see that it's hard to fit it in a normal camera frame. If you're new to 360 degree video, here's a couple of tips. You can look around. If you're using your phone, you can pan left, right, up, or down to look around, or you can use your finger to scroll. If you're using your computer, you can click and drag your mouse to have the same effect. Without further ado, let's get right to it and enjoy the scenery. All right, what day is it today? Thursday. Thursday. Where are we going? The Global Center. The Global Center, one of the biggest buildings in China? Well, I want to say it's one of the biggest buildings, one of the big... What, what, what Largest structures? Landscape? It's not tall. It, it is tall, but not like skyscraper tall. That's a landscape, right? Uh, land ship. I don't know if it's a land ship. It's I just, know. it's just really. It's big. massive. It's, it's like big. A, it's like it's, a huge cube. It's like the Mall of America, <clears throat> and a football stadium, and an office building, and a water park. All in one building. It's, it's a lot of things. So, this is one of the interesting attractions in Chengdu. Right. We wanted to show you today. We just got off the subway. I would have showed you the subway, but, but I forgot to record it. I took a nice picture of us instead of a video because yep. I'm still learning how to use a camera. So we just showed you the important stuff. Yep. And from here, I'll show you the approach to the global center. Okay, you just got a phone call, yep. and apparently five bottles of Chinese alcohol that you won arrived at our house, yep. but we don't know what kind of alcohol it is, mm -hmm. and apparently you won it on kind of a, a spinner. Yeah, I like a Wheel of Fortune thing. Wheel of Fortune that popped up out of nowhere. Yep. And they, uh, they said the shipping was covered, the alcohol is free, but you needed to pay 99 yuan for the insurance. Which sounded kind of skeptical. And the phone call was to tell us that our alcohol is here. So we politely refused it because it seemed kind of sketch. Yep. Don't drink mystery alcohol. Don't drink mystery alcohol, you might go blind. Yep. Which, it's kind of speculation, but when you're talking about your vision, you probably want to be a little more careful and err on the side of caution. Yeah. So this is the global center. I'm not sure if you can really get the scope and size of this building because it's just so massive. Oh my look. Across the street. This place is big. So now we're right outside the global center and you can just start to see how massive this building is. is that, how many stories tall is it? Like 30? 13? No, it's only 13. Well, they're like double floors. One, two, three, four, five, six. The fact is so wide. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess like 20. We are now inside the global center. It takes a while to find the front door, if there is a front door. Uh, we're on the first floor lobby. Come on over here, baby. 
Uh, we are looking for the arcade so that we can play some games and have some fun. There's a little kids arcade over there. Man, is there a lot to soak in here. That's the water park over there. There's the water park. There's a whole water park. Uh, this is the first basement floor. The second and third basement floor, I believe, are parking. I need to find one of those robots that can point me to the right direction. Yeah, there's these uh, wayfinding robots that wander around. And you just tell them where you want to go. Program it in on the screen, or do you tell them in Android? Uh, you can tell them in Android. All right, and they point you in the right direction. Yeah, let's go find a robot. Okay, let's go. We need to find a robot that tells us where. We need to find a robot. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Over there. Let's go check that out. Sure. Try to speak Chinese to it. Say Yu Lu. I want some coffee. We all want coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, it shows me McDonald's. <laughs> First three stores are McDonald's. McDonald's has coffee. Okay, you just got your coffee? Yep. Show me the coffee. Alright. And we heard that there was an ice skating rink here yep. on the fourth floor of the Global Center. Yep. So let's try to find that. And then eventually the goal for today was to play some arcades. Arcade game in the mall. Yep. I'm gonna play with the dancing. So here it is. Ice skating rink on the fourth floor of the Global Center. Stellar Entertainment International Cineplex. Oh, the movie theater. Okay, there's also a movie theater on the top floor. Usually there's movie theaters on the top floor of most of the malls. Most malls follow a pretty standard floor plan where the basement is all of the cheap food and the top floor is all of the most expensive restaurants, movie theater, or karaoke place, like all of the partying places on the top floor. And then everything in between is clothes shopping. Yeah. Uh, jewelry is always on the first floor, usually yeah. right by the entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, English teaching schools and fitness. So gyms are usually like middle top floor. Wow, that's got some beautiful architecture to it. Ooh, and there's the arcade. Kinda looks like there's one over there. Wow. Welcome everyone to my first lesson in copyrighted music. Apparently, the music playing in the background at the arcade was a copyrighted song, so I have removed it. In other news, this is the entrance to the arcade and an awesome statue of Bumblebee. Alright, 
We're at the entrance of the arcade. It's really loud here. And there are lots of flashing lights and attractions. Is this what you like? I'm a real sucker for these claws. That one's kind of dirty. What's on his face? Just don't get that one. Though. Get this one. <laughs> okay, let's go get some let's coins. on forever. You got a VIP card? I guess so. Nice. And then you get a basket I where you put all the coins in? Yeah, I just got a hundred yen. Okay, a hundred yen. Seventy coins. This, is, this coins are a little bit more expensive than the Arcane Center. They're about a dollar a piece? Or a, one yen. One yen. Actually, we pay for a hundred? For fifty-five coins. So 100 yuan for 70 coins is about $15 for 70. About 50 cents a 50 cents a coin. Still a fun day. All right, we're gonna play some games. Where did we just get done at? At the arcade, we played the Stands Revolution a lot. And after I walked in with my camera, we happened to see that there are multiple, no huge, signs. large signs that says no shooting yep. cameras. It has a picture of a camera. So it says no shooting cameras. Yeah, but this is, that. this is the back entrance of what we weren't able to film from the inside. So the dance -dance different in China because they has the hand motions so you can like do this, do yeah. this and do this. Yeah it gives it gives you a really awesome excuse to swat me in the face. <laughs> so we had lots of fun. We blew like 20 bucks. 15? 15? 15. 20 bucks. Yeah. Less than 20 bucks. Man this place is just amazing to see. It's just so big. This reminds me of the atrium at Lambeau Field. Now I wonder if the windows are dirty? Or if there's a sandstorm ripping through? I feel like there's a sandstorm. Huh. I think they keep the windows clean. We'll have to go see. So, rumor is there is a second arcade on the third floor. And we're going to go try to find that. Pay for the arcade. Ah, I see where you're going with this one. Okay, here we go. So we did not find the second arcade, but we found a bunch of stuff that looks kind of like it. Like this awesome big race car track where you buy your own race car and then you get to race it on this electric track. This looks pretty cool. We found some virtual reality stuff over here. Yeah. You want to go see that? Yeah, you see this on YouTube a lot. So you can rent this for about 20 bucks a half hour to play some virtual reality. Is that it? Is that an LED aquarium on the dual escalators? Yes. One escalator goes from the first floor directly to the fourth floor. One escalator goes from the fourth floor to the third floor. 
man, look at that. That looks awesome. Wow. This place is just massive and huge. Might be a little early for the water park yet. These uh, claw machines are all over the place, and I'm a sucker for playing those. But in my defense, every once in a while, I do win a few stuffed animals. Last time we were here, it was in fall, and this place was packed. This place was packed full of people. This is the wave pool, I think. This is definitely the wave pool. Some pretty interesting snack choices, <laughs> poolside. Pretty cool. The oh man. Okay, kids' toys are on a whole nother level here. So, I got some Earth Mover. I wonder if those are for big kids. Some, uh, I want to ride on that. You want to come here when the water park's open? Yeah. I think we could do that. Cool. Here's a map. The water park map. So this is the mini water park inside the water park for the little kids, I guess. It looks like they're washing it down. There's a lazy river. Lazy river, pretty cool. in this one and see. You know, woman con? Inside, I think it might have two bathrooms. Oh, that would be a nice, nice weekend stay. Yeah. And then we go to the pool, like Be eating. <laughs> this is the 
this definitely redefines buffet. Yeah, Th this is what I'm telling you, because like Chinese buffet is completely different than American buffet. I see that. P poolside buffet. So I count four swimming pools in this area alone. <laughs> this is a big hotel. Five. Ooh, oh, that looks like the hot tub. Yeah. This I'm is the gonna... biggest hot tub that I have ever seen. I love swimming pools. Yeah. I think I so. I what this would look like at night. Very pretty. Look at all the night lights. So we can vacation. This is pretty close to our house. Date night vacation? Hey, we don't have to fly for 12 hours to have a nice vacation. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, there are a lot of touristy places that is really good to go in, in Chengdu alone. And you can pretty much go to all of the places via subway. So if you want to check those places out, let us know and we can check it out for you. Alright, so filming a little bonus footage. We're in the hotel lobby. And it's about dusk. And there is a spectacular chandelier. It has to be the largest chandelier I've ever seen. I've been to Mohican Sun. We've been to Vegas. Where is Mohican uh, Sun? That's in Connecticut. It's a big casino. But I've never seen a chandelier this big. Right, even um, Mirage. Is it called Mirage? Yeah, that's in Las Vegas. Mirage doesn't have this. So if you look up, this is just amazing. It's beautiful. We have coffee here. Yes, we've had the coffee there and we did some homework. You ready to call it a night? Yes, I am. All right, I think that we're ready to go home. I wanted to say, I think you're awesome. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.